everyone. Hey, YouTubers, what's up? It's Android Authority here. We're live on the ground from Hong Kong, bringing you the world's first realistic drop test of the brand spanking new iPhone 5, the device we love to hate, and the world's best-selling Android phone, the Samsung Galaxy S3. So basically, guys, we wanted to explain the philosophy of this drop test. So what we're trying to do here is bring you the most realistic possible drop test. So that involves three different drops. First, we're going to drop it out of the pocket as we pull the device out, which is the most typical use case scenario when people actually drop the device. From there, we're going to drop it from about four feet high. When a person raises it up to the side of their head, a lot of people also tend to drop it from there as well. And lastly, we're going to let it slip out of the hand at five foot six. I'm five foot nine, so it's around five foot six to show how it handles impact from such a height. All those three things combined will paint the most realistic portrayal of how people tend to drop their devices and we'll be able to test the durability of the brand new iPhone 5 and the Samsung Galaxy S3. Oh my goodness. We're going to do the first part of the drop test right from the pocket. Alright guys, let's just see how it fared from the first initial drop test. Alright, so no shattering on the display, a really good sign, but it looks like we have a little bit of scratching to the side here. But it does seem to have fared quite well. Other than that, very minimal damage, all things considering, but it was from only two feet, six inches. So let's see how the S3 does now, eh? iPhone 5, drop test. Here we are, guys. Let's do it with the S3 from the pocket. Two feet, six inches, realistic as possible. Ooh, okay, let's check it out. Okay, it appears that there was no damage sustained to the LCD whatsoever. Still functioning fully. In terms of uh, scratches and whatnot, uh, just a little bit to the side here, nothing too major. In fact, uh, yeah, I mean, very, very minimal damage. A little bit here on the side as well. Other than that, no scratches to the LCD itself. It appears to be in remarkably good shape. And here we are going to drop it from mid-height, from four feet. All right, it looked to drop on the side, but let's see the moment of truth. Now, in terms of actually how it fared, all right, so actually relatively minimal damage. As we can see, the point of impact was here. It looks to have uh, almost fractured the plastic a little bit here. Um, you can see that the metal itself has been uh, quite dented, but no real serious damage uh, to the display itself. Uh, the display is still working. Yeah, so very minimal damage, all things considering. So the iPhone 5 fared quite well, actually, from that particular uh, that height, four feet. Here we go, guys. Going to drop the S3 from four feet high, mid-level. Ooh, oh my goodness, oh my damn, oh no! Ooh, okay guys, that side impact, you know, it's just a killer. The plastic is completely fractured. Does the display itself still work? That's still working, so it's still functional. Getting these displays replaced costs around $300, so that's 300 bucks we just plunked down for you guys. Hope you like it. But yeah, the plastic is completely fractured. I can almost pick it off with my hand here. This, the impact on the side, you can see the impact just spread across the whole display and it uh, completely cracked. All right guys, so the iPhone 5 has held up very well so far, but here's the moment of truth. Gonna drop it from five foot six at the ear. Let's see how it goes. You know, I've really got a hand at Apple. The device itself is still functioning. Let's see where the moment of point of impact was. All right, it appears so. Yeah, you know, it's a really ironclad device. Uh, it just sustained a little bit of damage on the side. We had the first, the second point of impact was here, and the first point of impact was uh, actually, excuse me, this appears to be actually the point of impact. And whereas you know, from the Galaxy S3, it smashed, but the iPhone 5 appears uh, to have sustained relatively minimal damage. The LCD itself is still completely functioning. It's just minor aesthetic damage uh, to the bezel itself, uh, which is made of a, a hard composite metal. So, yeah, iPhone 5 fared very, very well. All right, guys, Samsung Galaxy S3 time. Again, we're going to drop it from the height of my ear to re uh, portray a realistic drop test scenario. I'll be five foot six at the ear, and let's just see how it fares. Ooh. All right, so as we can see, yeah, just from the side here, it did crack a little bit more. It appears as though, uh, yeah, the impact was here on the side, uh, which caused the glass to fracture a little bit more, but it just compounded the fractures to the point where 
they extend all the way down the device itself. Uh, to the rear, yeah, obviously not very much damage. The case, really no one cares about. It's just cheap plastic, really, anyway. Um, but yeah, the screen itself is still functioning, so that's a really good sign. The internals are obviously okay, um, but it just compounded the impact uh, and just made all the cracks just go down a little farther down the length of the display. So Samsung S3, unfortunately, uh, is in pretty tough shape right now relative to the iPhone 5. Damn, the iPhone 5 held up well during the drop test. My God. So we're going to give it the ultimate drop test smackdown. We're going to raise it up to about as tall as I am, about 5 foot 9, 5 foot 10, and we're going to do a face down drop to see if this is actually as durable as Apple wants us to believe. So here we go, guys. Ultimate drop test smackdown. iPhone 5, Hong Kong. Damn! All right, guys, so let's see how the iPhone 5 fared. Very impressive, guys. So basically, uh, no damage to the display at all, no cracking. All we have is some minor aesthetic dents that happened from the point of impact when it hit the ground. Other than that, yeah, like I said, fully working. Very, very impressive, you know, almost from six feet, from five foot nine. Um, obviously, no more glass plate on the back compared to the iPhone 4S. And whatever kind of glass they're using for the front is extremely durable because we've dropped it over four times now and it isn't cracking at all. Still fully functional. So here we are, we're Android Authority. We're live from Hong Kong showing you the iPhone 5 drop test versus the Samsung Galaxy S3, which I have just here, which obviously, as you can see, is sustained quite a bit of damage from uh, two different drops. So you take a pick. iPhone 5 versus Samsung Galaxy S3. Drop test live from Hong Kong.